Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadian, the promised Messiah and Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam, the founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, was born on 13th February 1835, on Friday morning. He was born twin with a sister who died after a few days of her birth. Thus, a prophecy made by a great Islamic scholar, Muhayyuddin ibn Arabi rahmatullah alayh, was also fulfilled, which said that the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam will be born as a twin. Few years before the birth of Ahmad, reformer of the 13th century, Hazrat Sayyid Ahmad Brailvi and Hazrat Ismail Shaheed got martyred in Balakot, district Hazara. Christianity had spread all over India except Punjab. Christians opened their first mission in Ludhiana in 1835, which is the year of the birth of the promised Messiah also. Childhood The childhood of the promised Messiah was very pure. He never played foolish games, nor he indulged himself in naughty stuff. When he was a little boy, he is reported to have said to one of his cousins, to whom he later married as well, that pray for me to Allah the Almighty, so that I may be granted the grace of Salat. How pure was he? This following incident will give us an idea. Malvi Burhanuddin Jehlmi Sahib, may Allah be pleased with him, says, when the promised Messiah والسلام, was a young boy, once he went to Kila Mia Singh to Maulvi Ghulam Rasul Sahib, who was very righteous and noble man and possessed miraculous powers. During talks, he said that if someone can be a prophet in this age, then this boy, he pointed to the promised Messiah والسلام, is capable of becoming a prophet. Education The promised Messiah والسلام, was born in the dark age when during the Sikh rule people were not interested in education at all. Only rich people used to employ teachers for their children to educate them. When Ahmad والسلام, was seven years old, Fazal Ilahi Sahib was employed who taught him the Holy Quran and a few Persian books. When he was 10 years old, Fazal Ahmad Sahib was appointed, who taught him Arabic grammar. And at the age of 17 or 18, another teacher, Gul Ali Shah Sahib, was given to him, from whom he learnt logic and philosophy. Later on, he read some books of medicine under the guidance of his father, who was a skilled physician. Nevertheless, he was found of studying so much that he would spend long hours in the library of his father, so much so that sometimes his father had to advise him to spend less time in the library so that he might not harm his health. And the other purpose was for him to take interest in the worldly affairs. Sports in his childhood, he was taking part in some sport activities. He learned swimming and would go sometimes for swimming in the ponds of Kadian. He learned horse riding very well. However, the most loved exercise for him was brisk walking, and he continued that up till his last age. He would go for brisk walking for miles. His first marriage. When he was 17 or 18, he was married to his maternal cousin, Hurmat Bibi, from whom he got two sons, Mirza Sultan Ahmad Sahib and Mirza Fazal Ahmad, in 1853 and in 1855, respectively. 
Mirza Sultan Ahmad Sahib, may Allah be pleased with him, served on several high positions under English rule and retired as a revenue minister of Bahawalpur state. After retirement, he accepted Ahmadiyyat at the hand of his younger brother, Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad, the second caliph of the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam. And Mirza Fazal Ahmad passed away childless without accepting the message of the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam.